We are Graffy Port City Yachts. Instantly visit the Onsen. No? Okay. Flora! Oh, Ruby. <laughs> ah, Ruby, I was wondering when you were going to show up. You see, Ruby, if you want to be able to reach your other clans, you will have to be able to cross the ocean. Luckily, there's a very simple way. There's an item that allows you to walk on water. I do not believe that. I'm not Christian. I do not believe in that. However, if you want to have it, you will have to prove that you deserve it. There's an elder who lives at the dojo in the dojo of Graffaport City. If you can accomplish the task he gives you, he will give you what you need to walk on water. Speaking of, oh, you've already done it, Flora? Can we just share what you have? If you don't mind me, there's a whole region waiting for me. She's off. Did Flora really jump over that fence? Anyway, the dojo is to the southeast. It shouldn't be difficult to notice. Okay. There we go. So we got to get whatever the floaties are, whatever it is that allows us to walk on water. Cross the ocean, go to the fire region. I'm still confused because I thought this game wasn't complete, but we're getting further and further with every step. This must be the ending though, because these locations haven't been given metadata, while everywhere else we've been to have. So I guess we beat the dojo and that's probably going to be the end. Oh, you're from a Winter Clan. I didn't really notice other Winter Clan people before, but I think they have been around. <laughs> What's that Pelipper doing? Ah, uh, pastures, no. Is it has the Autumn Clan become more and more active recently? Yes, they have become more active. They even attacked Albanova Town. Elder Maxwell. Hopefully it's not too tough. I do not know why I didn't try to catch on before, yeah. The Venipede love in Cerubi's games is insane. <laughs> There's just a Venipede everywhere you go. Oh yeah, and speaking of, there's a there's a spinning Venipede right in front of a dojo. This is just shops, right? I don't really need anything, no. Dojo of Graphic Bot City is a top tier training. There's no other dojo in the region of Hayen that can beat it. Oh, that's sad. He's always up to the latest fashion as soon as there was new perfect clothing, but since he has become the captain of the Spring Clan, he has started wearing different clothes to be taken more seriously. A little bit of character lore right there. The person who lives here can help you train if you're interested. Is it like an Ordino trainer? Or is it Eevee's? Or just a level grinding. Maybe I should have said no. I don't really. <laughs> I don't think I need to. But um, I guess no harm in getting a little bit stronger. Oh, you have fake out. What a little bitch. <laughs> what an annoying move for a grinding trainer to have. Just wastes one turn. They don't want to give it to me easy. And they whirlwinded me. Wow, they do. They're really. <laughs> They do not want to give up XP easy. Changing out whatever Pokemon you're trying to grind. Fake out into waste turns. I guess if we're doing a fighting dojo, probably going to see lots of fighting types. It's our good friend Swallow. It's probably a good bet. Love to see it. Love to see the one hits. Four Maku heaters. Wow. At least only the first one had fake out. Is there anywhere else we haven't checked out in the city? We did not go in here. We did not get that relic gold. Apparently, Elder Maxwell tra is training. Elder Maxwell's training is better than the one from his friend clan leader. I do not believe it, I think they're both exactly the same. <laughs> uh, you're a very cynical little girl. Elder Maxwell's training is brutal, but it's worth it to become an excellent warrior. Anything in your pot? Not quite. Okay, give me that. Oh, there's an item there that I didn't see before. We've got to heal up because we did take a tiny bit of damage, and then we can dojo up, I think. 
for what will be the finale of Season Stone. I need to get rid of a couple of things. Can I get that TM? Yes, I can. Wow, that's well hidden. Well, I think I haven't gone to provide yet. Maybe it's just ocean, but... What is this person? The infinity of the sea is magnificent, don't you think? I do think that. I do think it's beautiful just looking over a large stretch of ocean and seeing it go on for what it looks like forever. So I think you're onto something there, dude. Okay. Uh, let's equip our flying type. No, Ruby, before you go see that Elder, how about we have a rematch? Oh. Okay. I'm more interested in seeing the fashion you used to be into. I guess the whole fashion thing is a reference to Wallace, because Wallace is quite a, a fashionable man. And very hot. So I guess his, um, his ancestor shares a similar trait. What is that berry? That's not... Oh, really? You have super effective berries attached? Hello, Ronko. Why, why are you winking at me like that? I saw that you're um, putting together your name for the credits of Duelists of Eden. I'm very excited for when that comes out, and I'll definitely... If I manage to get to the... I guess you just view credits whenever you want in that game, because there won't be like a main story, will there? Um, but I will keep an eye out for Kai Fangirl or whatever you want to name yourself. Oh, <laughs> your actual name, wow. You're building up your discography, but game-wise. I guess the interesting thing there will be your title then. Yeah, it is very exciting. What's the official release date? Was it March 19? Because that's a slightly annoying day for me. Oh, I guess time zones mean it will be March 20 for me. March 7? No, that's so doable. So doable. I, I'll definitely um, stream it then, at least like once. Even if I just get my ass kicked. I enjoyed um, playing it when the beta or alpha or whatever, the open one, was out. Well, Swallow, you nearly sweep them. Nearly. Well done, I didn't expect more from you. I no longer have any reason to hold you back. Go find that elder. Are you gonna stare into the ocean looking sad? <laughs> Are you a bit of a sore loser too? My god. The little guy gets beaten and just looks over to the ocean, pondering his existence. Okay, but into the dojo we go. And Swellow is near in the level cap, which is a good sign. Oh, uh, low kicks. Very cool. Who are you? Are you reference to a different game? Oh, we got more recipes. Because she mentioned some clan that's not... A Kui clan. That's not a season. A Kui clan Pokemon Relic Castle. Oh, it's from Bushido. I was like, it must be a reference, right? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. 
Oh no, why are all the PNGs on the Bushido page broken? Or did I just load it badly? No, apparently the images are all broken on the Bushido page, that's sad. Yeah, yeah, Bushido. Makes sense, I guess. Two games set with, like, clans and ninjas and stuff. Who may you be? Another Spring Clan Explorer? I say, please, people here call me Elder Maxwell, but you can call me Maxwell for short. <laughs> okay. I assume you're here for the same reason as the Sub Explorer. You want to learn about how to walk on water? Yep. This is something that's very simple to do. This is going to put all the Jesus believers in shambles. As soon as they find out this one trick, his superpowers no longer seem so believable. But I don't just give this knowledge to anybody. If you prove that you're capable of this merit, I will teach you how to walk on water. All you have to do is defeat my two best students. Let me make them come. Okay. Let's start with the elder looking man. It means we can probably just run out and heal before battle as well. I'm guessing we have to battle the elder too. Maybe not. The best attack is a defense, don't you agree, Grovile? His defense rose sharply. Oh, that's cool. And his speed fell. You're dead, son. Or not. You do have good defense. <laughs> and annoying berries. The duo, okay, not all fighting type Pokemon. Let's um just incinerate. I imagine you're also gonna get a stat bus buff. Or is it just Grovar? Yeah, here we go. Sharpen your beak. Ah, uh, we're gonna get an attack buff now and a defense down. Speed down. So I just need to one hit you, which is not happening. Oh, that's pretty grim. Um, and you are my Pokemon with quick attack. <laughs> Okay. I guess speed down means that we don't need quick attack. Okay, let's just go straight into the next one, because I think we can handle it. Unless she magically has like four Pokemon or something. Meditate, okay. Fight in Psychic, I need to remember the Psychic part, because I always forget that. Or maybe I forget the fighting part. I should get some part. <laughs> My ass is not good at Pokidoku. Thunder Punch. That's unfortunate. Okay, Siggy. You do not need to like rest. Marsh Tomp. Oh, if only I had a grass type maybe. That's alright. I'll just have to brute force. Oh no, what are they doing? Special attack up, special defense, accuracy up, speed up, everything up. <laughs> it's not going down. Oh, confusion, really. How's this pin missile do? Ah, oh, pin missile was not the bet. Oh, fuck me, okay. Curlia? Maybe I'm in hot water here. Another confusion. Luckily, it's not triggering, but. Oh, my ass is getting whooped. Do I just bite you? Or should I rapid spin? Okay, I think one more bite, we win. That was a critical hit. How fun. Oh, thank you, thank you. That was tight. 
Are you gonna make me a battle unit? I'm very impressed. You managed to defeat my two best students without any problem. I'm more than happy to teach you how to walk on water, but first you need to do one last thing. Defeat me in a Pokemon battle. Yeah. Accept my challenge. No. Let's go heal. <laughs> We've got one Pokemon left. I thought that might happen. You little misleading old man. Okay. And then I think this is the, the final fight for us, so hopefully it goes well. Against Dojo Man Maxwell. Good. Oh wow, he's actually buying time to speed boost. It's a little bit insane, wow. Critical hit! Oh, why? <laughs> okay. Nine tails. Please, God, let me do this fight easily without any trouble. I do not need to struggle. Indeed owned. Okay, who's next? Survivor, sure, let's keep you in. Fire spin. Why do I always miss fire spin? So I think you're going to be a tanky little motherfucker, so it's good to have fire spin going. Um, just Siggy, I guess. Oh, I'm feeling tired. That's not good. We're like one hour into the stream and I already feel tired. There you go, survive it down. Zangoose. Okay, we can do Lion vs. Zangoose. They're like two of the same Pokemon almost. I think Zangoose is going to win. <laughs> well, you can soften you up, then just have Wartortle do what needs to be done. In fact, let's do a little bit of cheese if we get a chance. No, we don't get a chance. That's okay. Okay, Wartortle. Somehow, you survived Thunder Punch. Um, let's revive Ninetales, because I like you. And... Yeah, a lot of Onions going on. Um... Do I think there's much point in trying to attack? I could just quick attack. But I think that won't do much. I guess it's better than anything else I could do. Maybe. Maybe I should try a potion. But your slash is pretty strong, eh? Um. Pray for hypnosis. You have metal claw. GG. Critical hit as well. In case we needed anything certified. Okay, let's try that again. Um, what Pokemon did he open with? Uh, Ninja Strat. Okay, we will start with Nine Tails. Yeah, it dealt a lot. <laughs> Super effective, critical, metal core. God. Yeah, well, no one has Thunder Punch. Swallow's not going to work well on Zangoose either. 
Nothing really works well on Zangoots. Maybe I should be saving Nine Tails for the final fight. Look at that little motherfucker chilling in the corner, knowing he's about to wreck my team. But I don't think what's one aerial lace gonna do. I guess it does something. We can try. I think that's just all we're gonna have to do. Just try to have everybody do a little bit of chip damage. Oh, not using protect turn one. I guess maybe you already know that you outspeed me. You withdrew. Okay, into Zangus. Into Zangus. No. Fire spin did not miss, yay. Glare? I can deal with that. You're still gonna take fire spin damage whenever you attack me. Flinch? <laughs> okay. Fire spin was definitely the right move at least. Yeah, just keep on spamming by and hoping for a flinch or for paralysis. Just let... Let that shit kill you. Let's potion up. I think two more turns of fire spin, all we need. They'll go into Zangoose, hopefully. Maybe Ninja Ask. If we go into Zangoose, we can just do a quick attack, get a tiny bit of damage. I should have quick attack there, to be honest. Somehow I landed my hit. <laughs> okay, good XP. Okay, into the ninja ask. I think we can take a ninja ask hit, right? Oh, I should have quick attacked again. I'm dumb. That's okay. We'll still. I mean, Zangus was probably always gonna. One hit nine tails anyway. Um, and we still get to do one quick attack to him. I got paralyzed, that's probably <laughs> what we didn't need to happen. Let's see how much one aerial ace will do. Everyone else is still doing alive and healthy, so hopefully. Not even 33%, like maybe 20%. They did not one hit me. Did Zengus not use Thunder Punch there? Well, that brings us to 50% health. Um, War Total did tank a. Water will tank to Thunder Punch. So you can do one Water Pulse. And now I need my Quick Attack. Um, Did Zigzagoon have Bite and Rapid Spin? Why? Um. Anyway, I only got one move in anyway. Do you have a priority move? No. I mean, we have Quick Claw on you. So maybe we just do you and hope that Quick Claw activates. Quick Claw did not activate, but we did not die in one hit. So therefore we win. Wahoo! Yay. What a great battle. You're very special from what I see. Now, enough wasted time. You want to learn how to walk in water. You'll have to attach these to your shoes. Big floatstone. <laughs> okay. I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. A unique kind of floatstone, strong enough to lift a human being. It's apparently used for walking on water. Yep, this is it. No need to train at all. Um, attach these to your shoes when you're good to walk on water. Oh, it has the stream just died. Are we back? Hopefully the stream did not die for long. Maybe it didn't. It like disconnected for a bit. Um, this is something that not everyone deserves to have, so use them wisely. The level cap is up. If I was to do that, I'd try to walk on the sea. So we are continuing. I thought the game was done. 
That's weird. I got like a thing saying I disconnected from OBS, but. I'm guessing we're going to walk to the beach and the game's going to tell me we're done here. Let us see. Do we get to see what it looks like when you walk on water using big float stones? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. This is Cerubia. I remember her avatar from Farmville. It's kind of cold around here, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Celestial Fido, one of the developers of this game. You're probably wondering why you're here. Well, it's not very complicated. You've reached the end of the season stone for now. I hope you enjoyed. If you have anything to say, don't hesitate to say it on the game page on Frailet Castle. And feel free to join the Discord. By the way, I don't know when Pokemon Season Stone will be finished, if you wanted to know. So do not spam me about it. Thanks. Anyway, I'm going to send you back to Graphiport Dojo. But first, would you like to do me a little favor? I'm currently working alone on a very big fan game. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's called Pokemon Fisher. That'd be very cool if you could take a look at it. Let me give you the link. If only I could click it. I do like that it's blue and hyperlinked. Um, but yeah. Pokemon Fisher. I played the demo of it. It is quite cool. If you ever decide you want to play it, I recommend you wait until March 2024. We are closely approaching that. Since I'm in the process of remastering the version that I originally released in, released in 2023. Um, yeah. Thanks for listening to me. Have a good day. Thank you, Cerubia. And back to the dojo. Okay, so that marks the end. I'm quickly going to start downloading the game we wish to play next, which is Family Restaurant. But in the meanwhile, I'll talk a bit about my thoughts about the game. I don't think there's too much to say that I haven't said already, but I think it's really cool. Um, and I think Cerubia did a good, great job. I'm always a sucker for... So name Jay. For Legends games and fan games that kind of try to do something like that, and I think it did a good job at it. The crafting wasn't, like, tedious, and it's not really mandatory either. It's just kind of another way to get items, which I think is a very good way to do it, instead of, like, forcing you into a grindy, crappy mechanic. It's just something kind of collect on the way, and um, it lets you get items very easily without having to spend all your money on potions. Um... Characters I liked. We didn't get to see too many new characters, but I imagine more will come. But um, the most obvious ones to connect to pre-existing characters were Flora, being May, I imagine, and Wasili, being Wallace. And particularly Wasili, I thought was quite cool. Now, plenty of other cool references to Legends, such as the Master of the Spring Clan having the outfit that the Master of... I can't remember the name, but the old Jubilife City has in Legends Arceus. I thought that was cool too. Um, and plot-wise, I quite enjoyed the lead-up to um, the Iron Giant. I thought that whole thing was very cool. I did think that route was a bit long. I already commented on that, bro. Um, and I, I'm a bit sad that it does feel a bit anticlimactic to end the demo at the dojo. I almost feel like it would have been better to end as the... I enjoy him fight since that was quite cool. But I guess in general I should just be happy that it meant we got more game to play. Um what else did I want to say? Oh the neat detail or mechanic of the Oh hello Kakawat. The neat detail or mechanic of the Pokemon being like Trainers in their own that they watch a uh, route and then they're like special buffed Pokemon that you can't catch. I thought that was cool, and I also think it's a good way to make it so that if you wish, you can grind for crafting items because they will consistently respawn and give you crafting items. The only thing that I say that I don't really like about it is that this game so far has involved a fair bit of backtracking. And <laughs> I am excited to see you, Kakua. Ooh, Kakua. Woo woo. Um, and since the game involves a fair bit of backtracking, quite often I found myself having to rebattle those Pokemon. And it just kind of... I felt it interrupted the flow a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure how you would correct it, because I think the existence of those kinds of Pokemon are good. <laughs> Yo, probably. Um, But maybe if, like... There's a couple ways you could have it. I guess one would just be to make it 
so that they don't face the mandatory path, so that you can walk by them if you really wish. Or to maybe make it so that once you beat them the first time, they have like a slightly different path, so that they don't face the trainer as much, and that you'll only really battle them if you truly wish to. Um, but that's kind of it. Oh, other, other thing I like is I like the reimaginings of routes that are already new. I haven't played Hoenn that many times. I've only played it in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, so I'm no Hoenn expert. But already, especially these two routes, oh, and this one too, very recognizable. And I thought that was super cool, especially like the pond where you fight Mei in Ruby and Sapphire or Brendan. Um, and you see the, the water droplets in the pond. I thought that was all super cool and super well done. Um, and I look forward to checking out more recognizable locations when one day this game is expanded on. Obviously, Cerubia said that there's not really a planned date at the moment, but whenever it comes around, I'll be very excited. And it seems like already we've done a decent chunk of the game. We've cleared out this whole section here. I'm also now realizing that I feel a bit like we're the bad guys. The Spring Clan dominates so much of the region, but Autumn and Winter Clan are like dedicated to these tiny peninsulas and a couple of islands and then the Summer Clan gets a dead island <laughs> that's in heat. Um, but yeah, we will save there and we will now be playing Family Restaurant. I just need to take a quick break to refill my drink bottle and to extract the game. So let's do that quickly.